ready to go against the story. I was, I was afraid of what was going to happen to me if I went against the story. A former Vanderbilt football player awaits his fate tonight after arguing he was afraid of retaliation. And that's why he went along with the rape of another student. Two former teammates are already in prison and they'll stay there for more than a decade. Tonight, Brandon Banks is waiting to hear his fate, his fate in the hands of a jury, and they've been deliberating for about 14 hours. But the end of those deliberations could soon be near. News Channel 5's Jason Lamb is at the Birch Building tonight. And Jason, we understand that the jury has been asking the judge a couple of questions. That's right, two questions so far, but because the judge has answered those questions outside of the courtroom, we don't exa know exactly what those questions were as deliberations now reach into 14 hours. Brandon Banks was in court again this morning. He could face a minimum of 15 years in prison for his role in the rape of a student at a Vanderbilt dorm that took place four years ago today. This is now by far the longest jury deliberation in any of the Vanderbilt rape trials. But we're hearing some new information tonight, hearing from a source that there may have been some, quote, intense negotiations inside that deliberation room. Now, again, these are the charges that Banks is facing, five counts of aggravated rape and two counts of aggravated sexual battery. If jurors can't come to agreement on those most serious charges, they have a list of up to 14 lesser included charges that Banks could be convicted of. Again, we're still waiting for the announcement of a verdict. As soon as that happens, we'll let you know. Reporting live in the Birch Building tonight, Jason Lamb, News Channel 5. Thanks, Jason.